guys it's Nicole welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter so today I'm going to show you guys how I take some plain um, like music paper or you can do this with newspaper book page or what have you anything that you may have that you want to alter um, into something really nice okay so I'm going to show you how I take this music paper uh, it's just plain copy copy weight music paper and turn it into something like this all right it's really simple to do all you need is a couple of ink pads and some stencils and um an ink brush all right and uh you can turn your plain jane paper into something that looks a little bit more interesting and you can use it in your junk journals or um your junk journal covers or a signature or what have you so let's go ahead and get started i'm just going to give you guys the things that i use in order to make this and you can um embellish it however you like you can add or remove any parts of these things that you do not want to use in your project so first i'm going to start with my silicone paper and my plain music paper this is um not silicone paper this is silicone uh, mat and here's my plain music paper that i want to use i'm just going to pick one doesn't really matter which one i choose but i am going to add some ink to my mat and then to the paper so with that you need a spray bottle with some water and i'm using a new color that i haven't used yet this is called speckled egg and i'm just going to spray my mat and put a little bit of water on the ink pad itself and i think i did this with um with some acetate and it worked out really well um, the acetate does allow the ink to transfer to the paper but I found that my silicone mat also works just as well so if you don't have um, what is that a jelly plate or a jelly roll plate or whatever that is that most um, you know paper makers have then you can always use your silicone mat and it's cleanable you can clean this off and reuse it so this is just um, speckled egg and another new color for me is fossilized amber and I'm just adding it to the mat and um, I think I want some brown in there so I'm just going to use my good old ground espresso spray a little bit of water on it Ooh. and get that on here so yeah guys I mean you can totally do this it's not um, rocket science at all if you do not have the time to coffee dye your paper let's say um, or you don't have coffee um, like you know um instant coffee you don't have to uh coffee dye your paper you can always add interesting colors just like this so i'm just giving my mat a once over spritz with the spray bottle and i'm just going to dunk my entire page right into this just like so give it a little smush oh this is going to be so pretty already oh my goodness i can't stand it <coughs> All right, so now we have that. Isn't that gorge? So pretty. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna set this right above my head to dry. I'm gonna give my mat one more spritz, just like so. And I'm gonna grab my other sheet of music paper and place it in here. And over here. So one will be a little bit more saturated than the other simply because you're trying to use up all the ink that's on the mat. But that first one, oh my goodness, too, too easy, too easy guys. All right, so here is our second sheet. Um, I can place it down right about here to pick up some more of that ink gosh that came out really really nice 
I love that that uh, yellow and the blues together it looks really good okay so now all we have to do with this is just clean it off so I'm just gonna spritz it with some water and grab my uh, dry my dry towel and this cleans right off this is why I like these silicone mats because um, they're reusable you don't have to like you know worry about getting your desk messed up and you can just clean it off and set it to dry and you can use it again within 15 minutes or so once the uh, the mat is dry all right so th now we have that um, here is what I did in order for my pages to get to this state I basically here I have two more that I worked on before um, I'm gonna grab my other silicone mat and these come in various sizes so if you want you can check them out in my Amazon storefront I do have um, these silicone mats available for you to just click one button and put it in your cart and it's it's right there it comes in various sizes there's probably two sizes there's a large one which you saw me use the pink and I also have a large blue and then there's two um, smaller ones as well there's a small blue and a small pink the one that's in my Amazon storefront may be different colors so just keep that in mind but they're called silicone um, um, mats basically all right so now for this stage in order to get my paper to uh, this point right here I'm just going to use a stencil um, and I just basically stenciled various things from this I didn't like you know stencil the entire thing down I just used whatever part of the stencil I wanted to use and I'm just using ground espresso for this step and a brush okay this is a makeup brush you can get these at the dollar store or at any makeup store um, or you can get the actual um, craft brush sometimes they're white uh, have white bristles I'm just trying to find one so I can show you there we go so I picked this package up on Timu. I haven't tried them yet, but I will give these a try just to see how well these bristles work. But this was, I think, a pack of 10 or 14 um, for about 6 or $7. Or you can buy them individually if you're not really sure um, how to use them for about a dollar or so at a dollar store or um, makeup, makeup store. So anyway, I'm just going to apply this onto any section of my page and just brush on just any part of the stencil that I find interesting so these little splotches right here are it's from some alcohol ink I really wasn't too happy with the way they came out and the alcohol ink kind of uh, made my paper cloudy so you can see like right around here is very cloudy over here is cloudy so yeah I really wasn't too impressed with that aspect of it that's why I didn't include it in making this but if you have alcohol inks feel free to give it a shot but I just did not like the way it came out for me so yeah I'm just using my stencil and applying it in various areas on my page just to get some color get some color on there and um, you know decorate <laughs> basically I'm just making the paper my own it went from being plain Jane music paper to something very interesting and the more ink that you apply of course the darker the stencil will come out if you want it very light you can just add just a little bit of stencil or a little bit of ink to the stencil but um, the, the more saturated your ink is the darker the um, the stencil will come out so yeah, I'm just adding just about anything right about now because I'm going to set this aside to dry and and um, then we can move on to our next step so yeah guys I hope you guys give this project a try if you do please tag me at Chronicles of a Crafter 
um, or hashtag Chronicles of a Crafter. I do like to see what you guys are making because, um, yeah, I just like to see what, what you guys are up to. How did you make this into yours, into your own? All right, so I'm just going to set this aside to dry. We'll come back and play with it some more um, and see what, what else we can add to it. But, yeah, I think that's pretty good so far. Also, the other thing that you might want to do if your paper did not come out as saturated as you would like, you can always go in and ink around the edges just like so. You always want to start off off of the page and work your way in. This way you don't get uh, brush strokes or like a circular motion going. So yeah, just start off the page and work your way into um, the areas that you want. Okay, so yeah. I'm just going to ink around the edges here. And then we'll set this aside to dry. Okay. Alrighty. So my pages that I just made, I just want to show you guys one more time. This is what it looks like. This is the most saturated one. I love that speckled egg and that um, that yellow, the uh, fossilized amber. It's so gorge. And then the brown just ties everything together in its own way. When this is dry, I will go in, stencil it, ink around the edges, and then um, we can use this in our projects. So here's another one. This is one that did not get as much saturation, but it's still very pretty. Oh my gosh, that blue. Anyway, that's that. All right, so once these dry, we will stencil around the edges and um, we'll stencil it and then ink around the edges and then um, we'll make something fun with it. I'll be back in two ticks. All right, guys, so my two pages are completely dry. I just love how they turned out. What I want to do next is stencil on top of this. So I'm just going to use just uh, some Tim Holtz stenciling and um, just stencil just about anywhere on the paper, just like I did with the previous one. And it does not have to be anything um, like specific. You can do uh, like for this, for example, you don't even have to do all of it you can just do like certain sections sorry i'm having trouble connecting to the internet and there she like goes all right so now i'm just going to stencil i turned her off so she does not interrupt us anymore but yeah i'm just stenciling anywhere on here not anything in particular just um any part of this design that i want and i'm try to get this done quickly before she talks to me again <laughs> She just butts in whenever she feels like it. And right now, um, our router is turned off. So what? Why? Why is she even trying to communicate? Okay. So anyway, I'm just gonna keep stenciling on here. Just interesting parts of any one of these stencils that I may like, and it's really that simple. So, and once we're done with this then I can decide like which part of the project I want to use in um, part two of of this little project right here so yeah um, I like this word Istanbul I like it okay so there's that and I will put this little arriving Paris right here. And pop this one down right through here. And you can go in as heavy or as light as you want, depending on what you would like to see come through. So maybe i'll put some more of these chevrons right here okay and that's pretty much it for that i think i think that's plenty all right so now what i want to do is um probably do some stamping so i'm just going to stamp let me move this one out of the way we'll work on that one later so i'm just going to stamp uh just a couple of little 
uh, sentiments on here. This one says nostalgic years. And I will stamp this big guy right here. And put nostalgic years somewhere else as well. Okay. And maybe right there. Okay. And then this has um, a couple of things on it. So there's this huge seal that says enclosure. Just put that right there in the middle. And maybe off to the side a little. Okay. And um, then I'll do the filed. So I have the filed with the, with the hand pointing to it. I'm just going to get some ink on there and get some good coverage on here. So I think I need to remove my enclosure. All right. That's nice. I like that. That came out pretty cool. All right, I'm going to do that one more time somewhere else on this paper probably down here pointing this way give that a second to transfer okay I think that should do it all right so I'll clean off my stamps in just a moment let's just go ahead and work on this so I think what I want to do is probably create like a little background um, so I'm not even going to need all of it probably about that much of it just about this little area right here um, to create a background for um, for a junk journal cover. So what I want to use is I'm using the Edith Holden image. So this is just an image of Edith Holden. I took it to my copier, copied the back of the book, the picture that, that has her on it, and um, just made a photocopy of it. So I'm just going to use that and create this little background so here is my image i'm not going to get a lot of what i've stamped so i'm going to use it sparingly in let's say this location so let's see what i lost i lost my enclosure that's fine yeah that's okay i will I like that. I'm losing my Istanbul. <laughs> Maybe I can do it like this. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna use this section right here. So I'm gonna tear this up. Just tear it. And most of my book covers are um, probably about nine nine by six and a half or seven or so okay so this is the section that I want to use I need to reinforce this little piece right here as a tour okay and here is my little Edith Holden that I'm going to use for this section um, so I may tear it off up here as well so this part I don't need okay it's coming it's coming together it's coming down to what I want it to be all right so next I'm going to uh, just adhere this to here oh yeah that's gonna look great I'm just gonna adhere it to there let's use um, our glitter which is in this container so I'm just going to spread it. It's the summertime, guys, so art glitter is very, very loose and runny. And you just have to be aware. <laughs> just be aware because it will spill all over your project. So, all right. I'm just going to pop this down, like, right through here. Okay. And then I'm going to use one of um, I'm going to use one of Tim Holtz um, 
little window. I think they're called backdrops or backgrounds. Uh, let's see if I have the package here. Apparently I do not. It's okay. But I do have one of his little windows. So that's how I came up with the shape for this Edith Holden um, image by just tracing around here to create the shape from this this uh, background I think it's called or backdrop I'm not sure but um, yeah I'm just going to apply this right like that to there and I'm just gonna tuck some things all around her so um, let's see she's right there I'm gonna tuck this back here and um, Oh, I can use some lace. Let's get some lace. Let's get some lace in the project. That's that's not bad. I don't like that pink. Hold on. Maybe this brown would do. I don't know. The pink was okay, I guess. I could have used it, but I prefer I prefer this brown color. Yeah. That would be that would be great right there so I will adhere that to there place some of that back there so I'm using my mat as um, my measurement so I know this is about this is three and three is six and a half um, inches so that's about the width of one of my journals so I will just adhere that to there here I just have some more of these little snippets. Oh look, I did get enclosure. So I will just put a little snippet right down here. And this is just all personal preference. As you can see, we started off with this, right? We started off with this large something and then we worked our way all the way down to just this. But we have our focal point. We have our, our, um, our image in the middle here that we're going to use and I just need to maybe soften it a little bit near the top so I will probably go in with something like so and this right here will become a um, it'll become a cover to one of my junk journals so to let's just adhere this I'm gonna put um, just a little bit of glue on here and again I'm just using art glitter because it's here I could use fabric fix that's also ready to go uh, in my little glue stand but I'm gonna use fabric um, art glitter just so it's paper to paper and it's quick and will be done in no time just get this right at the spot that it's supposed to be in because I don't have too much wiggle room okay all right, and then I will just adhere this right down here. So again, this is just one of those little snippets. And we're just using what we got. I can't hold on to this stuff forever. And it looks like I lost some of Edith's name, but that's okay. So yeah, I'm just using up what I have in order to create something, something different. And on this side is where I will add this page. Okay. And I will add my lace right back here. So I'm going to flip it back over. Okay. Alright, so the last thing to do is just add this little guy, which will go right up here in this corner, just to soften everything. Give myself, you know, a little bit of focal points going here so that's gonna go right up there all right so here is my cover to my next junk journal I wonder what it can be about 
what do you think it's going to be about anyway so here's my focal point I have some softness going on up here it has another um, little focal point down here in this section and right down here at the bottom um, may stay or may not stay but um, this right here is where I can put a book plate or something like that to indicate what type of uh, journal it's going to be all right guys I think I've given you guys plenty of things to try we tried it with this we've, we've inked paper we've created paper and made all sorts of goodies that we can play in our junk journals just by simply inking our papers and then um, stenciling them and then even on this one we did some stamping so right now what we're going to do with this is make a book cover so this is where I've I've started I'm just gonna let everything dry really well let this part grow on me a little bit I'm not sure if I'm really crazy about this corner um, I may do some I don't know some lace trim or something else maybe some rickrack or something along the side or just round the corners or tear the corners, something like that but like right up here I can just um, remove whatever pieces that are you know overlapping or lingering in the project that you don't want there and um, yeah just just let it sit and dry and grow on you a little bit before you make your permanent decision as to whether or not um, this is going to work for you or if it doesn't work for you all right I'm gonna leave you right here I hope you guys have a super crafty day go do something wonderful go do something crafty and interesting and you just never know what you might end up with all right don't forget to check out my one link down below it's the linktree.com slash chronicles of a crafter it'll take you to all of my other links and um yeah thanks to each and every one of you who have subscribed to the channel who hits the bell for notifications after you've subscribed also who um give these videos a thumbs up because that's what really helps the channel to grow i do appreciate each and every one of you i will definitely talk to you guys in the next video stay naturally curious bye